Sharam Amiri was greeted as a hero when the Iranian nuclear scientist returned home to Iran six years ago, claiming he fled his American captors, turning down millions of dollars to spy on behalf of the U.S. I was facing psychological warfare and pressure, much worse than being in prison. But on Sunday, he was executed for treason. Iran's Judiciary Ministry announced Amiri was hanged for sharing Iran's nuclear secrets with the enemy. After due process, he received his punishment. Amiri disappeared in 2009 in Saudi Arabia on a religious pilgrimage. He mysteriously ended up in Arizona, where he made a video that aired on Iranian state television, claiming he was kidnapped and taken to the U.S., where he was allegedly drugged and tortured. U.S. officials say Amiri defected and willingly provided useful information about Iran's nuclear program. And in a subsequent video produced by the CIA, had Amiri contradict his claims. I am free here and want to reassure everyone that I am free. By 2010, officials claimed Amiri changed his mind and wanted to go home. Iranian television aired a third video in which Amiri returned to his kidnapping story, saying he escaped his captors a claim publicly disputed by then-Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. He's free to go. He was free to come. These decisions are his alone to make. Amiri demanded to be sent home when he arrived at the Iranian interest section at the Pakistani embassy in Washington. Officials believed he feared for his family's safety. Clinton aides made veiled references to his request in emails over her private server. One saying, quote, our friend has to be given a way out. If he has to leave, so be it. Days after his heartwarming airport reunion with his son aired on Iranian state TV, Amiri disappeared. Clinton's critics seized on the emails, suggesting they put Amiri's life at risk. That goes to show just how reckless and careless her decisions was to put that kind of highly classified information on a private server. But I think her judgment is not, is not suited to keep this country safe. Now, the Trump campaign also retweeting stories linking the emails to Amiri's death. And today, the Clinton campaign shot back, saying the Trump campaign never met a conspiracy theory it didn't like and that the accusations are baseless and absurd.